Hey guys, today we're going to announce the SNMP is supported on Yaystar S-Series VoIP PBX, the model S100 and S300. Please upgrade your firmware, have a test with new features. Yaystar SNMP feature allows the network administrator to use an NMS for network management system to query PBX information and monitor PBX devices in real time. All right, enough talk. Why don't we just jump in and let's see how we figure this out. Here we take an S300 as an example. By the way, the configuration on S100 is the same. Anyway, log in to the PBX. Choose Settings. The SNMP feature is over here. Now we enable this feature. The local port is 161 by default. Tips. Don't forget to set it the same as the NNMS receiving port. Now we keep going. Our SNMP supports three versions. SNMP version 3, SNMP version 1, and version 2C. Select one version according to your own needs. If you need to use SNMP version 3, configure this part. SNMP version 3 user. Customize the username here. Choose the type of access limit. Three options are available. No authentication, authentication and privacy. No authentication provides access control based on the username. Authentication provides access control based on HMAC MD5 authentication. And privacy provides access control based on the HMAC MD5 authentication and data encryption by CBC DES. Obviously, privacy provides the most secure access limit. So, we recommend this to you. If you need to use SNMP version 1 or version 2C, configure the SNMP community down here. In SNMP mode, select the version in the drop down list. In the community field, enter the community name. In the IP and subnet mask field, Enter the IP segment where the PBX and the NMS are located. Now, one more step. Don't forget to save and apply the settings. That was all configurations on the PBX. So the next step for us is some configurations on the NMS. Here are the general steps. Firstly, import the MIB file of PBX in the NMS system. Please contact our tech support team for the file. Secondly, add a host and enter the SNMP information that was defined in the PBX. Make sure the SNMP settings are the same on the both devices. Well, like I said, it was a very general configuration rule. Different NMS has different rules. Please refer to the NMS configuration guide for more details. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just have a test on your own system. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.